Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name's Ale and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I crimp all of these brushes. So I hope you guys enjoy. I did not want to accidentally mess up on the Kiara brush so I decided to practice on these other three brushes that I don't use. So I do recommend doing that in case it's your first time crimping your brush as well. The first brush I'm going to be showing you guys is the one that was in my school kit. So as I dip the brush into the monomer, I'm going to be flattening the brush on the paper towel just to create that desired shape that I want. Here's a close up of the brush before I crimp it. And as you can see, the hairs are not uniform, so that's gonna create an irregular bead when using acrylic. So don't fight me about this, but I do not know what this tool is called. And if you do, make sure to comment down below and let me know. You always learn something new every day. But anyways, it's pretty simple. Again, I recommend practicing on an old brush, but you're just going to use the tool to just press into the brush in a linear form don't do it slanted because your tool your brush is going to be slanted okay so here's the after and you're going to be seeing a huge difference than the before which is insane like this could literally change your brush look at that that that's so nice and the thing about crimping your brushes it's gonna create more of a, an oval bead than round bead like a circle bead This next brush is a brush that was given to me by my teacher in nail school. Here's a close up of the brush. As you can see, it is bent out of shape, literally.
the next brush I'm going to be crimping is from Young Nails. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be used as an acrylic brush, but it came with my acrylic kit, so it probably does. But anyways, I don't think the hairs on the brush are Kalinsky because they're really, really hard and like stiff. But what would happen to this brush was whenever I would dip it in acrylic, it would literally just like fall into the acrylic more often than other brushes I've used. So this is the after of all three brushes. As you can see, most of them are a flat rectangular shape, but the young nose one is pointed at the end. So it's gonna allow the brush to create circle beads compared to oval beads when having a more rectangular brush. The next brush is from Kiara Sky. As you can see, it's a rectangular. I didn't like it when it wasn't crimped because again the beads aren't all uniform in shape so since this brush is more expensive i wanted to use some paper towel to wrap it around the ferrule of the brush so that it can protect it more Since the brush is a size 14, it's going to give you bigger beads and usually for long sets, you want to use a bigger brush because it's going to give you a bigger bead, making it quicker to finish the nails. Look at how hot these beads are going to come out. Watch. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, make sure to like the video. Comment down below any beauty hair suggestions you guys have for me and subscribe to stay tuned for any upcoming videos.